Yesterday, I got this bad boy. I've already ripped up the box, but what it is, is the, uh, the Shure VP83 lens hopper microphone. And that means my voice should be much, much smoother. I haven't used my camera for quite a long time and coming to terms with how bad the onboard microphone can be, this is going to be a big difference. While I was traveling, uh, I didn't have access to a laptop, didn't really have access to the internet and very rarely did I ever get to put an SD card into uh, a laptop or a computer and actually take a look at the footage. So for a long time, I didn't actually get to see just how the footage was coming out. Unfortunately, quite a lot of it was... So this video is going to act as a kind of uh, first impressions of this microphone. Right at this moment as well, I actually have no idea what the audio sounds like. Listening to the back of my voice now, um, I can see that there's uh, plenty of work to do. I have to, I have to really play around with this thing to get it, to get it working right. But there is already a massive difference. There's quite a few settings to kind of work around on this microphone, but I'm going to go through a few of them and see if I can make it sound as good as uh, um, a movie. <laughs> So if you guys know Casey Neistat then, <coughs> this is the microphone of his choice. Just to drop the mic, so with that... And from doing the research myself, it, it came down to two different microphones. You've got this one, the Shure Lenshopper VP83, and the other one, the Rode VideoMic Pro. The Rode VideoMic Pro is um, a little bit more expensive, uh, and it seems that you get the pretty much just as good quality out of this and you're going to save yourself about 50, 60 euro or, or about the same in dollars. So last night I set up the uh, set up the mic on the DSLR and tried to give it an initial sound test. Well that's bloody great isn't it? I didn't even have the microphone on. So I guess we're just going to have to record it again. Okay so I fiddled with the settings again this time. It seems to sound much clearer for my voice but let's see how it actually does with my brother's voice and uh, the, when he's on the keyboard. Now these things obviously aren't made with being able to record music in a professional way in mind. Really what I'm all about is trying to make the setting on my microphone and the camera be as versatile as possible. And so if I can pick up my voice clearly, then that's perfect. But also, what about things that I'm pointing at, especially when it comes to music? Okay, so this is how the onboard mic sounds while on automatic settings. And this is how the new mic sounds. One of the biggest problems with audio in a vlog, especially if you don't have a microphone like this, is uh, vlogging outside. Got a feeling we are glowing. Our bodies make it perfect, and your eyes can make me swim. Then again, everything seems new. I can barely hold my tongue to say the least I'm into you. And your eyes saying more than we can talk and warmer than the bedroom spore And your thighs kisses from the outside I'll take you down the other room to breathe in something more I'll find this harder to ignore The things I want you for I you Okay, so in this clip we can hear that, that it's actually taken in the audio really well Especially my brother's voice And it's taken in the keyboard sound pretty damn well But in the little lulls in between everything you can kind of hear that slight hiss of, of the, the feedback So if this video has actually been helpful in any way, please uh, please leave a like rating. And if you're interested in any of those travel videos I will be doing, um, please subscribe to the channel.